This is the morning office for February 27th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 50, verses 7 to 15 and 22 to 24. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds in their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the field are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine, and all that is in it. Do you think that I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God lest I rend you, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, but to those who keep in my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear, O heavens, and listen, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I reared children and brought them up, but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, people laden with iniquity, offspring who do evil, children who deal corruptly, who have forsaken the Lord, who have despised the Holy One of Israel, you are utterly estranged. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Rescue the oppressed. Defend the orphan. Plead for the widow. Come now, let us argue it out, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. My thought about silence for today is thinking about the silence of midnight, the way that it encloses us, the way it seems to sit alongside us, almost as if it were a presence with us in some way. I think in that there is a hint of the presence of the Holy Spirit, that difficult 
and complicated concept that we wrestle with and that comes to us in different ways at different points in our lives that never quite seems to be completely filled in and clearly defined before our eyes, but is always somewhere along next to us. It is perhaps in the silence where our eyes are no longer as useful to us, but rather those inner senses that we bring to bear. The silence of midnight enables us to imagine that in fact God is alongside us. Certainly this is just as fleeting as the silence of the morning. We can never really get a, a, a firm grip on it. It's elusive, this feeling that in the silence and darkness of the most, ti the most quiet, that the stillest time of the world, perhaps we are hearing just a small echo of the presence of God. I ask your intercessions today for the day, the world, and the church. Remember those around us who are in need, those whose needs are silent, those whose needs we fail to see. Pray for those who are hungry, but we don't know it, those who are lonely, but we don't perceive it, those who are desperate for the love of God and the desperate, desperate for the love of their fellow humans, but for whatever reason we are unable to recognize and help to meet those needs. Pray for the needs of the world, where entire populations feel cut off from the love of God, cut off from the love of humanity, the, the, the justice and mercy that humanity is able in some small way to provide. Pray that the church may have a role in that, that it may turn from whatever injustice it may have done in the past, whatever complacency it may feel in the present, and become a powerful force for love, mercy, and justice in the world. O God, you will to redeem us from all iniquity by your Son. Deliver us when we are tempted to regard sin without abhorrence, and to let the virtue of his passion come between us and our mortal enemy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>